Welcome to this tutorial video. In this video, we'll be examining the Stefan Boltzmann Law. Now, this tutorial is aimed at Units 1 VCA Physics, and we're examining laws that are relevant to black body objects, objects that when heated up will emit radiation. And we're looking at the relationship between the power of the radiation emitted and the temperature of the object. So Stefan Boltzmann Law states, as you can read here, that the energy emitted, or the power emitted, is proportional to the absolute temperature raised to the power of 4. And here it is as an expression. Power is proportional to the temperature raised to the power of 4. Now we can look at four different examples using this particular ratio approach, or proportionality. First of all, let's consider an incandescent light globe, which we've all seen in houses around Australia. It consists uh, mainly of a tungsten filament that's heated up via current and it emits radiation. There are gases etc. present. Let's consider a globe that when it's at 2000 Kelvin produces 200 watts of power. Now my first question is what power would, would this globe produce if the temperature were increased to 4000 Kelvin? So we're comparing 2000 Kelvin to 4000 Kelvin. All temperatures must be stated in Kelvin, so the cold temperature in those two comparisons of 2000 and 4000, the colder temperature is in fact the 2000 Kelvin. Its colder power is four, sorry, is 200 watts. Its hot temperature is 4000 Kelvin. And we're trying to calculate the power rate of the hot globe at 4000 Kelvin. Here's the equation we use. Now it looks at the ratio of the hot to cold power and compares it to the ratio of the hot to cold temperature raised to the power of 4. Looks complex, but as we go through these four examples, we see how it can be applied quite simply. So first of all, we substitute our values. The cold temperature of 2000 Kelvin is substituted in. The cold power of 200 watts is substituted in. The temperature hot of 4000 Kelvin is substituted in. And the hot power, or the p-hot, is our question mark. That's what we're trying to solve. So on the right hand side of our equation here, we can probably simplify this 4000 divided by 2000 quite easily. That comes out to 2. And we raise that to the power of 4, which is 2 by 2 by 2 by 2, which you know comes out to 16. So to find the hot power rating at 4000 Kelvin, we simply multiply our 200 across to the right hand side the 16 as such, and we come out with an answer of 3200 watts. So at 2000 Kelvin we have a temperature, or rather a power rating of 200 watts, whereas at 4000 Kelvin, double the original temperature, our watts have skyrocketed up to 3200, and that is because of this raise to the power of 4. Let's look at a second example. Again we're comparing our initial conditions of a temperature of 2000 Kelvin and power rating of 200 watts. By the way, a watt is just one joule per second. Now, the question is, what power would it produce if operated at a temperature of only 500 Kelvin, much lower? Now, our 2000 Kelvin is the hot temperature in this comparison, and our 500 Kelvin is our cool temperature, or our cold temperature, in comparison. So, our hot temperature is 2000 K, our hot power is 200 watts, our cold temperature is 500 K, and our cold power is question mark. We use this ratio again of powers hot to cold being equal to temperatures hot to cold raised to the power of 4. Let's substitute in our hot temperature of 2000, our hot power of 200 watts, our cold temperature of 500K, and of course our power cold is what we're trying to solve. On the right hand side of our equation, 2000 divided by 500, this can easily be substituted in and calculated to be 4, and 4 by 4 by 4 by 4 gives the value of 256. Okay, now effectively we have to multiply our p cold across to this side and then divide both sides by 256 in terms of good mathematics. Okay, we've multiplied our p cold across to the right hand side of the equation and then we've divided our 256 across the left hand side. So at 500 Kelvin, the power of our light globe is only 0.78 watts, a very, very small fraction of the original 200 watts that existed at 2000 Kelvin. Again, this is because of the raise to the power of 4. Our third example again compares our 2000 Kelvin temperature 
and our 200 watt power rating um, against a temperature that would provide five, oh, sorry, 50 watts of power. So we want to know what is the temperature that would produce 50 watts. Now, 50 watts is far less than 200, so it must be a cooler temperature. So again, let's put it in. Our hot temperature is 2000 Kelvin. Our hot power rating is 200 watts. Our temperature cold is question mark, and our cold power rating is five. Uh, sorry, 50 watts. Here's our ratio again. Sub in our values, hot of 2000 K, hot power of 200 watts, temperature cold is question mark, power cold is 50 watts. Now, our left hand side of our, our equation, 200 divided by 50 gives us four. Now to get rid of something that's raised the power of four, if we wanted this squared and we wanted to get rid of the squared, we would take the square root. To get rid of the raised to the power of four, we need to take a root to the power of four. So on the left hand side and right hand side, if we take the root to the power of four, we're left with the following expression. This can be done in our calculator simply, and it comes out to 1.414. Now to get T cold by itself, we need to multiply that across to the left-hand side of our equation and then divide the right-hand side by 1.414. And our answer for the cold temperature producing 50 watts with this light globe, we would need a temperature of 1,414 Kelvin. Our final question is looking at a brand new globe. This brand new globe glows yellow um, when we have it at a temperature of 1,000 degrees Celsius. My question is, how many times more bright is a globe when it reaches a temperature of 2,000 degrees Celsius? So mathematically, the hot temperature is 2,000 degrees Celsius. To convert that to Kelvin, we must add 273. So that reaches 2,273. Likewise, a cold temperature of 1,000 degrees Celsius, we must add 273 Kelvin. So that has a temperature of 1,273 Kelvin. What we're being asked here when we say how many times brighter is, or how many times more powerful is the hot globe than the cold globe, we're effectively trying to work out this ratio of power hot divided by power cold. We'll explain that in more detail shortly. There's our equation. Let's substitute in our values. The hot temperature, 2273. The cold temperature, 1273. And we want to find well, this ratio, or fraction, P hot over P cold. Let's simplify the right hand side and we get a value of 10.16. This tells me that hot power divided by cold power has a value of 10.16. Or alternatively, we can say that the hot power of this light globe is 10.16 times brighter than that of the cold power. So, whilst we can't calculate exactly the hot power or indeed the cold power, we can tell from this ratio of P hot over P cold that the hot power rating is 10.16 times greater than the cold power rating. Had it been 2, we'd say the hot is double. Had it been a half, we could say that the hot is only a half that of cold, although that would make no sense because clearly with a hotter temperature we would get a higher power rating. I hope this video has clarified what can be for many students of VCE Units 1 um, quite a complex problem simply using this equation of hot power cold power ratio compared to oops my bad sorry I'm trying to find the original equation if we keep going back I'll get it eventually here simply using this hot power cold power ratio compared to hot temp cold temp to the power of 4 enables us to either find a hot power cold power hot temperature or cold temperature of a given light globe, or indeed the ratio of hot to cold. Study hard and do the best you can. Thanks for watching.